that's coming at you. This is going to be a new BSWS behind the scenes with slings. And it's going to be all about my number one asked question that I get asked all the time, which is, yo, man, where you get that wax from? <laughs> so here it is. It's going to be all about the wax. But before I get into it, I just want to remind you guys, come on over to the ACBA community channel on YouTube. Um, sub up and check out all the videos on there. They're all uh, glossary terms of different uses of ACBA. You know, and I mean, there's everything on there. And this, this channel is uh, going to be updated all the time. There's going to be new stuff coming out, you know, and, uh, you know, like these glossary terms, if you're new to ACBA or if you're um, just wondering what it's all about, this will answer all your questions for you. And also, it'll help make you a better ACBA artist. I mean, it's just going to, it will, it'll just help you out. I mean, there's so many great tips on here from so many great artists that, you can't help but get better by just watching these videos. So, all right, guys, let's get into the wax. All right, and here is uh, a piece of it right here, and it's called Baby Bell Original, and it's cheese. All right, and let me just show you because a lot of guys are confused what part you use. So, it's wrapped in cellophane. You can find this stuff at any supermarket, um, grocery store, and so anyways, it's wrapped in the cellophane. Cellophane, throw away. You don't need that. All right. Now it's wrapped. This is cheese that's wrapped in food grade wax. All right. So you just peel the strip and then keep that because it's got wax on there that you can use. And you open it up, and inside, the uh, <laughs> cheese. And this cheese is awesome. So, you eat the cheese, and now I'm going to be talking with a mouthful because I love this stuff. And then you keep the wax. And in order to keep this stuff uh, healthy, I guess we could say, is you want to keep it in a bag of self or um, a plastic baggie. Alright, so that'll keep it nice and fresh. That's the best way to keep it, keep it at room temperature. Here is the actual package it comes in. It's a netting. Right. And this is usually right next to the yogurt and stuff like that, and craft singles and in the dairy aisle. Alright, so there's the pack. There's a bunch of different ones too, but this is just the one I like to eat. So, so I've explained a couple of times how I use the wax. Um, and I'm just going to go over it again because some of the videos I've deleted and then some of them are just from a really long time ago. So here's one way I got, um, that camera is kind of hard to hold a little bit. So I got a small piece of wax behind it. Deadpool's holding the gun, small piece of wax behind that. This one doesn't really need it, but some of the other figures to hold a gun, I just put a small piece and a little bit goes a long way. Now, you're going to see some of it sticking out in this video, like right there. You won't see that when I do an actual display because I use such a small amount. I mean, I only use like a dab of it just to wet the paper with it. That's it. Uh, the reason I'm showing it here is because I want you to see where I'm using it. So on this like cut out right there on the gun, I have it. And then surprisingly, and I mean, I've only done this. This is the second, or I'm sorry, this is the first Venom I've made. Um, the other one I showed a finished project for it, but the sculpting on this figure is all done with that wax. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but I, I'm practicing how to sculpt stuff and you know I just wanted to use that. So like this chest plate, that's the wax. The arm armor, the wax. Um, yeah, so it's just I don't know, it's pretty crazy I use that, but you know, it's not I don't recommend you using that, but that's just me practicing. So I just want to show another example of what I All right, Another use is underneath Captain America's foot, I put like a small dab just to help him stand up a little bit. Avoid the like ridges in anybody's boot, the hole pegs, any like uh, raised pieces. Avoid that stuff because it will get trapped in there and it's kind of hard to get it out. If you do have a problem getting any of the wax residue off, use a warm, or I'm sorry, a, a cloth with warm water. 
No soap, no nothing, just a cloth with warm water and it'll come right off. Here's another use. So I got Spidey sticking to the wall. You can see the wax sticking out, like I said, when I do an actual video, you won't see that. You don't need to use that much. I just wanted to show you where it is. Um, so Spidey sticking to the wall, and let me just pull them off and show you how secure he really is. You're going to hear it pop when I pull it off, right? Oh, well, it didn't at that time, but usually it'll give a little like suction cup noise. But So there's some on the back of his arm. Let me bring this back over here in better lighting. You can barely even see it too because he's a red figure. It comes right off. See, and then this I could just pull off with my nail. There it is. So now it's off. Then this is reusable. So you just, if you keep it fresh, just roll it back into a ball, put it with the rest of your wax inside your bag, and you can use it for as long as you want. Um, another thing I use it for that I use it a lot is the cutouts. Okay, so I got the shield in here with a piece of wax on the end of it. <clears throat> Let me bring this in a better light. So now the cutouts, I've been layering them lately, okay, and this is an example of that. So you can see there, I used the wax to actually raise the cutout off of another cutout, and I layered them on top of each other. And that's a great technique. I've been using that a lot lately. I just think it makes it pop. It's more popish. It just really comes off you know instead of just laying it flat like there it would be just flat on the shield if you ball it up and raise it up a little bit and then put it on the shield see how it sticks up now a little bit I don't know I just think it makes it come out more so that's another example of what to use it for um, here's another one I use it on props anybody that has the spider-man that came with this pole knows that this uh, street light is a bitch to keep standing up. So, got the wax there. Let's bring it over here to the wall. All right. And you don't need that much either. I just want you guys to be able to see it. So here I am at the wall. There it is. That thing's stuck on there. It ain't coming off. All right. Listen for the pop. See? Came off real nice. No residue on the wall at all there. So it helps you stand stuff up, not only figures, but also props. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. That's going to be it for the... Oh, and the other thing I want to mention is uh, a lot of guys have been using it for blood. Like, Boog's got a really cool picture of his uh, Deadpool with a sword coming out at either end, and he's using it as like a blood effect. Um, I'm going to show you one from the ACBA community page. This is JRA Nightmares video, and here he's got Bucky shooting an AIM soldier, and right there, you can see a piece of the wax. Let me get a little bit closer. Right here, ugh, you can see some of the wax, and he's using it as blood, like he got shot. Uh, I'm seeing this stuff pop up everywhere now, so Poopyhead Allen just had a cool picture of Joker actually holding it. Uh, the whole wax ball, it was pretty cool. And that was over on the Facebook page also. So, anyways, that's it for the wax tutorial. I hope that answers all the questions um, and ends the confusion about how you use it. There's other stuff to use besides the wax. Feel free to link your videos here. You know, this is going to be part of the chain that just keeps getting linked together. That all the how-to stuff, you know, and uh, I'm just going to keep that right on rolling. So this will be on one of the behind the scenes with slings or the BSWS. That's what they're going to be called from now on. And you'll see it up there. And then other guys have been linking like Mad Gus, uh, PJ Customs, Blue Devil. Um, there's been a couple other guys. I can't remember who right offhand. But a lot of people have been linking their videos. So I appreciate that too. And, you know, helping out everybody in the community make better art, you know. And that's it. All right, guys. And just a couple other things I wanted to mention before I go is the comment situation on YouTube. So I've been getting a couple comments directed at me like, hey man, I'm always leaving you nice uh, comments on your videos, why don't you ever respond? Well, the reason I don't respond is because you can only respond one comment at a time and it's a pain in the ass to click back and forth and I don't know if they fixed that yet or what, but 
Um, unless it's a question, I really don't respond to anybody's comments anymore. Uh, I just try to leave a nice comment on your video to show my support. It's not that I don't appreciate the comments you guys leave. I just, that's the reason why. So thank you all for the very nice comments you always leave. And uh, I appreciate that. And lastly, I want to talk about my wall. Uh, my wall does rotate, so I just switched it up for June. Uh, you will see uh, guys that usually have less subs than me just because I want to show support. But not just that, they're also really dope artists. And I don't put you up there unless I think you do some really good work. Now, um... I'm not only going to always have ACBA artists, I will have reviewers on there too and stuff. Just people that I, I want to show my support to that I think do great work that maybe haven't got really noticed yet. So, you know, I appreciate everybody that's sub to me and hopefully you'll go check out these guys. If, if you like what I do, you'll definitely like what the guys on my wall do. So make sure you check that out. Um, and then I held a contest on... Um, the ACBA Facebook page and it was to find this camera in my ACBA community channel video of my transformation and I told you to find the camera and tell me what cutouts were on the camera so um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a little drawing so I'll make a separate video for that for just the Facebook um, and tell you who won. I'll also link who won to this video, but I'm not going to say it yet. Um, so it'll be on the Facebook page. I'll do a little video for that where I draw all the names, everybody who, um, who answered the question correctly. So uh, you still got time to enter that. I won't do that until tomorrow. Uh, I'll actually do the drawing tomorrow, right? So just a small prize. Um, also, really quick before I go, if you guys have a Toys R Us anywhere near you, you might want to go check it out. These Movie Master figures are only a dollar, from eleven forty nine to a dollar. So I would have bought more if they had them, but they only had these two left. Um, one of the goons, which I'm going to transform into, you know, I'm going to head swap it with something else. And then a Joker figure, which the articulation in his arms and no waist. It sucks, uh, but I like the sculpt of it. It's a nice figure, and you can't go wrong for a buck. So just something to go check out, you know.